Suppose you have a building where one side has been obscured for some reason and you need to rebuild it. One of the uh, neat ways that you can do this, if you've got a building like this which is pretty symmetrical, you can actually select the area from the opposite side that you have got a clear picture of to a control C to copy it, control V to paste it over here, we can see it, we'll just create that as a new layer. Okay, so obviously if we drag this thing across now got this area um, of course it's going to be the wrong way around because it's for the other side of the building but you do have this neat reflection tool up here reverse the layer you can flip it either um, vertically or horizontally so I'm going to just click this the, the default is a horizontal flip so I'm going to just click in this box now and you can see it just nicely reverses it so what I need to do now is line the two up and that will create hopefully the side of the building with the steps now I've obviously got this lamp post in the way um, and some other artifacts here but uh, that's something that we can deal with so let's go and work on that obviously if we zoom in to a huge detail there will be some alignment problems here but it's not not that bad so let's uh, let's try and get rid of this lamp post here so I'm still working in the pasted layer so I'm going to uh, use my free select tool again um, actually we might be able to do this on color but um, I am doubtful of that color tool tends to bleach out, out into uh, some of the adjacent areas again I'm just going to select around this one go up scans don't have to be um, too accurate here just um, I'm just going to delete it out of there and it, already you can see showing through from the layer beneath some detail so that's a great thing in the layers palette the, the highest layer will always be showing and then if you make a hole you delete out of it you'll actually see the layer beneath so already we can see that um, uh, that's improved the photo and we just need to clone now over this area in order to uh, to make it look a lot better so let's go ahead and do that Okay, so I'm going to select that area. Which one do I want to clone? Probably about. Uh, let's take from there to there. Um, do a cut and paste. Again, I'm going to select the move tool, move it back over there. There we go. So let's uh, let's just click back in this window and zoom out. As you can see now, it's looking much more like a proper church, even though we never had this detail in the original photo. Obviously, there are some artifacts and things in here that, uh, given time, we could correct. Um, but um, for the purposes of this tutorial, I think uh, I think we're uh, we're almost there. We just need to sort this little area out here and then do a final crop.